Hi, I'm Hugh Fort, and I'm going to show you how to avoid getting fined in a Denmark Street car park. The car park is split into two sides, one of which is owned by Woking Borough Council, and the other which is open, owned by Euro Car Parks. Dozens of drivers have come a cropper over the last year by parking in one section and paying for a ticket in the other, and ended up getting a £70 fine. Now, the Wokingham Times is going to give you a step-by-step -step guide how to avoid getting fined in the Denmark Street car park. First of all, the Wokingham Borough Council car park. The Wokingham Borough Council car park is on your right-hand side as you drive in to the car park. It's on the same size as the Wokingham Times office and Wokingham Library. The signs in this car park are green. Now, to the area owned by Euro Car Parks. This car park is on the left-hand side as you drive in. The signs are blue and yellow. And one extra little tip, it's actually cheaper than the Woking and Borough Council car parks parking. It seems drivers have become confused upon entering the car park because they see this pay machine. And they think that this pay machine is where you pay to park in the whole car park, when in fact, this pay machine is where you pay if you're parked in the Euro car parks area. It's on the other side of the sign as you enter the car park. People who make the mistake of parking in the wrong car park often thought come back to their vehicle to find it, one of these attached to it. So just to recap, to avoid getting a fine, as you come into the car park, the council car park is on your right hand side, the Euro car park is on your left hand side. The pay machine you see on your left hand side as you come into the council into the car park is to pay for the council machine. It is not to pay for the whole car park. So that is the Wokingham Times guide to, to parking in a Denmark Street car park without getting a fine. We hope you take our advice because no one wants a parking fine, especially at Christmas. Happy motoring.